number two in the make Corbin and Cry handbook. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your impression of that was the closest Amexia I could Bakshan? get? That was the closest I could get for now. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I am Corbin with a K. Miles, this is Richard with an R Siegel. Rule number one. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, go and smash the like button, subscribe. And ring that little bell, my little notification squad babies. <gasps> Boom! Hashtag notification squad. Hashtag notification squad. Oh yeah. Hashtag notification squad. <gasps> and please follow us on MySpace! <laughs> Instagram! You know they do it with us now. What? They do Instagram and Twitter with us when we go Please there. follow us on Instagram! Instagram and Twitter! <laughs> For more juicy content! Oh. It's so juicy. It's so nice to hear from your daughter. Especially when she says it's something <laughs> juicy. <laughs> <laughs> so, little babies, today uh, we are reviewing yep. a film yep. that came out this weekend. And we went to the theaters and saw our sales. Yep. We saw Batla. Bum, bum, bum! It's the, uh, the film with um, Amitak Bakchan. Better than the first time you tried. The last name was spot on. And, Bakchan. And uh, Amitak Bakchan. Tapsi Penu. Look at him, guys. Tapsi Penu. Wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> they are reuniting uh, from their first um, movie, Pink. Pink. Link that right here. We did a review of that one. Fantastic film. Yep. Loved it. So, this is a classic whodunit film. Yep. Uh, if you want to read the uh, synopsis. This is the synopsis. A dynamic young entrepreneur <laughs> finds herself locked in a hotel room with the corpse of her dead lover. She hires a prestigious lawyer, the defender. They work together. To now it's becoming Tevye. A dynamic young entrepreneur finds herself locked in a hotel room with the corpse of her dead lover. <gasps> she hires a prestigious lawyer to defend her, and they work together to figure out what actually happened. Picture, if you will, a man in a hotel with a woman accused of something she didn't do. The Twilight Zone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh... This film, uh, you went into it uh, from the. Let's trick. just go straight to the spoilers. Yeah. Okay. Go away. If you if you let's just do it. Let's talk about it right now, all out. Let's go. <laughs> so if you've never seen it, go away and come back. <laughs> Spoiler alert. So ignore what we said. Earlier. Yeah. Let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> so this film, um, from the trailer, you you notice um, that it's going to be a you know this woman is accused. Correct. Uh, murdering, and you're trying to figure out the this lawyer's trying to figure out how he can unaccuse her. And right. through this whole thing, from basically when it starts off, you um I was trying to figure out who I uh, like what happened. Of course, it's a who done it. Yeah. Um and at, at first you're like, okay, this seems like a pretty generic Yes, it does feel that way. Film and half, through the half up to the halfway point. No, not really half. It was before that. Really? Oh yeah, because when you. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It does start to twist a little bit. Yeah, you get your first twist, and it's like, oh, oh, that's fun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But then what you've realized is that you've gone on a roller coaster, and you've got quite a few twists and turns yeah. that you're about to have happen. It, it was very similar to a a clue. Very similar to a clue. Obviously not. Funny. Like no, no, that. yeah, no, not not with the humor of Clue, but, but the twists and turns, going over these different scenarios that yeah. could have happened, and they're playing them in front of you like they actually happened. Yeah, uh, and really, you, you have to decide what uh, whether you think it's true or not. And what the me one of the best things about this one before we get into all the little twists. Yeah, well, dude, I'm taking it. You liked it. Yeah, I did. I did. I did quite enjoy this film. Yep. Um, and it's my. It's one of my favorite types of films. Just it's very actor driven, and it's you get to watch that dialogue driven. Yeah, you get yep. to watch these people um, carry the film. And what I told Rick after we left the film, it was kind of like watching um, what's his face, uh, Amia Tak, <laughs> Amitab, Amitab. Uh, Amitab Bachchan, and then uh, Tapsi and Tapsi, Tapsi. Amitab and Tapsi, uh, watching them 
dialogue together was watching like two heavyweights go like, like yeah. trade blows for actors in, man in it arena. doesn't get any better than and that. It, just it watching was, two great it was, heavyweights it was fun to yep. watch yep. um like he would say <laughs> this happened and she's like no actually, actually this is actually what happened and then he'd say well yeah i knew you were gonna say that <laughs> because, yeah and so you had so many twists and turns in this. Yeah. Uh, the first, so many. Once again, spoilers. Yeah, here come spoilers for sure now. Once the first one when you find out that it's their son. I think that was the first big. Yeah, the first big revelation is when Anju, is that his name, the main character? The guy? And he goes there and he looks at the picture and sees the face as the face of the kid mm. in the car. That was great. Yeah. That was a, one of those. <gasps> And that's a good place to talk about because throughout I felt that the score mm -hmm. was extremely good in uh, accentuating too many times this kind of a film, like a lot of films, the composer and the director will overscore the film. And they didn't do that. There were moments I noticed the score, but they were at the best times. Yeah. At where, and that was those kinds of moments. Most of the time I didn't notice it, which is... Which, which is exactly is, what you want. Great. Yeah. Um, the... Uh, <laughs> I... Every single time I tried to basically debunk what they were trying to do. Me too, like, of course. He has a, he has his phone. What? What? That? What? And then right. they would explain. Um, uh, he explained it away that he he sat on it, uh, and I'm like, hmm. When was he in their car last? Right. <laughs> and you've got to pay attention. Do not. I mean, I, I, if you get the intermission break, that's when you can go get your food. But if other than that. You really cannot leave, or you'll get lost, yeah, and you'll you, miss great stuff. You, you miss you miss a lot of the twists, yeah, and the turns. It's constant. It's like a roller coaster. Yeah, it does. It, it just starts to do this, especially the last thirty minutes. Yeah, it's just nonstop. Did you see the end coming? Did not in a million years. Did you? I saw. It. I I predicted from the beginning that he was not her who lawyer. he was. Yes, really. From the I didn't. I, I didn't predict him tearing off his face until later I, I, I kind of saw that coming. Yeah, I did not. I Right at the beginning the... when he came in and he was kind of uh, looking at his uh, phone, looking out the window, um, and then he said... He was he, early. He was kind of, yeah, don't worry about it. I was like, I'm wondering... One, I first had thought, I was like, I think he's the killer. Mm. That's what I thought. Yeah. Um, and so I, I was like, it's something with him is, is, is what's going on. You yeah, know, I bought him as the lawyer because he was a lawyer in pink. So I was like, yeah. same guy. I was like, this is, <laughs> is this a secret sequel? Right. Yeah. <laughs> or a prequel? He came out of retirement. He decided to do another case. He yeah. looks a lot better, though. His health really improved. To the exact same girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who has another legal problem. Yeah. <laughs> I, and, and, and then at the end, um, I thought it was... Um, I, I didn't. Per I, I did think it was like, wait, is that the the dad? But he just grew a beard, and I was like, no, that doesn't look like him at right, all. Right, right, right. That's weird. So I didn't anticipate until the very end when he just started ripping off his face. I'm like, uh, okay, it took it's the dad. It took so many twists and turns for a split second. I thought it was going to be Andrew, and he actually wasn't dead. Oh, that's yeah. how that's how crazy this thing that's, starts spinning on you. I think that's one of the best things about this film is that you could have seen it be any person be yeah. the murderer. Yeah, and I loved... Okay, so now let's get into some of the meteor plot points and moral conundrums of the story for me. Mm -hmm. the, I loved how it took us... Let's talk about her. Mm -hmm. It took us from her as the victim mm -hmm. to not just the murderer, but a powerful, strong, conniving, flat-out evil person mm -hmm. who at the outset you think is just the hapless victim like the character she plays i'm not saying she's hapless and pink mm -hmm. but she's innocent is what i should say and it it spins it and he saw it coming the whole time mm -hmm. because he, he knew he knew he knew her the whole time and i love when he said that line he says no one knows ronnie better than me i knew there was more to that i thought he's saying something and it was exactly that line i'm showing you the six but is it because I'm hiding the nine? Mm -hmm. So good. So that that first part. The yeah. other one was the moral conundrum about the legal system in any country, mm -hmm. especially democracies, where the reality is you win a case not whether or not you're innocent or guilty. You win it based on which legal team 
can prove you to win the case. It's it, justice is blind. It's not about right and wrong. It's about who has the best evidence and who can present the best case. Yeah. And the, and how does an attorney like? I thought we were done when he found out she's the murderer and he was going to have this moral conundrum of how do I now take a case and keep my impeccable record when I'm defending somebody I know is guilty and I'm going to try and get him off. And I thought, well, he's a defense attorney. He's done that many times. There's no way he didn't do that before. Mm -hmm. So that whole moral conundrum I thought was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. My, I loved when they, um, they, he kept, they kept replaying. And they, they were like, no, this is what happened. And they would play that out. Yeah. The thing. And so they'd show the, the mom committing the murder. Right. They reenact the it. Re uh, loved that. And I thought I had them for a second um, when they showed the mother and then she would walk out of the window. Right. And I'm like, well, how did they, how get, they get locked? locked? And then they, they were like, oh, no. I, right. Dad just came I was looking. There. Once it started doing those turns, yeah. I was looking for all the little mistakes. Yeah. And I didn't, there weren't any. Yeah. And obviously that wasn't a true right part of it. Sorry. Spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's, uh, I love these two actors. Yeah. Love them. The director, uh, say it for me. Uh, let me see. It's a, uh, Sujoy Gosh. Sujoy, Sujoy Gosh, Sujoy or Gosh, Sujoy I thought Gosh. did really, really well. I did too. Uh, he okay. He was the writer of Bang Bang. Okay. Bang. Did he write this as well, or did he just direct it? Writer. Oh, so yeah. Adapted. Adapted screenplay from I presume a book. Yeah. Uh, and so that looks. So we haven't seen him anything other than his no. But a great, and Bang great Bang. job at the again. This was one of those movies where there's times where I want things to stand out. I want production design to stand out. I want to pay attention to the cinematography. But when you've got a story that is this much in your head, mm -hmm. you need that to all take a back seat. You need to under direct in a way. Yeah. And he did a great job. It was quite fun. And a lot of the, like you were talking about, the, the little ad libs that we think they added. We I've got to know. know if a lot of the lines, a couple of lines were ad-libbed because they would have these really intense parts and then uh, Abakchan would jump in with this little quip. Especially the coffee line. Yeah. She gives him the coffee and he takes a sip of the coffee and he goes, oh, that's really good coffee. Yeah. And I, I turned to Corbin and I said, I hope that's ad-libbed. Yeah. I so hope that he just threw that in there. Uh, and his presence, man, I mean, we've only seen him in a couple of films. I know he's a legend that you've all watched your entire lives. But this guy has the weightiness of presence of an Al Pacino. Yeah, very Al pacino -esque. Very Al pacino -y, very, very De Niro. Charismatic. Uh, charismatic. On, on screen. Uh, so is she. She is too. The, for her to hold her own in a film that is the two of them, it's like somebody having to hold their own up against Meryl Streep. Yeah. Uh, any, you name all the heavyweight actors that are at the best of the best. Because he is, he is at the... He's that good. That yeah. guy's just fantastic. Yeah, and I, I was very pleased with the film. I, I was sad that I, I almost called it at the beginning. Uh, I would be too. I just wasn't there, thankfully. Um, I'm really it stupid was almost, in movies. It was almost right at the beginning. I was like, that's. I, I didn't. I didn't quite call it, so it, it didn't totally ruin it for me um, because I didn't exactly call well, what it was. For me, that's one of the best things about being really stupid I was just, I, don't, I don't see it coming. I was just time. waiting for to, to figure out who this guy was and, and why he was there. Right. Um, I thought he was the, a lawyer the whole time. Yeah. So, but I mean, it, it didn't ruin it at all. That's the, like, the only issue I had with it is that it didn't get me as much as I as wanted much as it, it to get me. The way, <laughs> the way that it got me. Yeah. yeah. The way that it got it's me. Not, it's not that. It's not really a, a, a gripe with the film. Kudos to the makeup team. Oh, yeah. I'm wondering how much of that was a bakchan that had prosthetics and he took At it. the end? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously that was... It they was had him. to blend it. It was him for a while. So he probably took it off for a while and then they switched to that guy. Yeah, but they didn't do the stereotypical just peel the face off and here I am. They took their time with that, and there was a lot of places they could have. I would really see it behind the scenes it. if it was him, and those were some yeah, amazing look, prosthetics. Really, if that was really all good. him. Yeah, <laughs> really good in the eyes. Yeah, because even at the end, he hadn't taken his contacts out yet, so it was his eyes in that guy's face, uh, and just I can't even count how many twists and turns there are in the story. The only issue I I think had is that. I don't know how these people, these parents, afforded all this stuff. 
right to do right all of this. But he they was, did he live. Was an engineer. He was an engineer, or but who knows? A, a mechanic. They had a very nice house that was out in Barbara Lee had a lot of property, and she did say the lengths that she would go to. So who knows what they did to get the money to do what they need to do? Yeah, I don't. You know, I just don't know where they got it. I know if somebody murdered my son. I've always said this. If somebody were to hurt my kids, my Rambo switch would flip. Just your son, though? No. <laughs> so I thought of him because it was, it was a son who was killed in the film. <laughs> Just you. But I know me, and if someone were to like get away with like murdering one of my kids and th there was no justice that was done, I would potentially just go Rambo. I'd go rogue. I would, I would do whatever it took, so I'd find the money, mm -hmm. and then I'd, I would do whatever I needed to do, so don't touch my kids. <laughs> Rick's gonna commit murder everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. Uh, go see the film. Yeah, go see it. Uh, go see it. Highly recommend it. It was. It was. <laughs> now that we've spoiled it for everybody, yeah. <laughs> hopefully you have seen it at this yeah, point. Yeah, you haven't seen it. Why are you yeah, still? Why are here? you still here? You don't need to see it now. We just told you yeah, all we the plot told points. you the whole film and <laughs> <laughs>